through what we're going through. Amen. And as I as I yielded my, my, my vessels or my members to, I do believe to be led by the Spirit of the Lord, he didn't allow me to like go through like the first armor, second piece. That's not what he allowed me to do. He, he's allowing me to skip right. through them right. as I hear his voice to talk about whichever one he want me, wants me to talk about. Mm -hmm. And so with that being said, I want to talk today about the shield of faith. All right. um, and let us just go back to Ephesians real quick, chapter 6. Um, and I'm going to get somebody to read there for me. Uh, Lady Jack, if you can read that. Start at chapter, um, verse 10. Oh, okay. Uh, Ephesians chapter, so we can all be on the same page of what we're talking about here. Ephesians God chapter bless you, Pastor, 6. Good I'm sorry, go ahead, dear. Start at verse 10. Please. Finally, my, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Mm -hmm. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Hold on, hold on. Okay, go back, read that again. You didn't finish, but go ahead. I'll cut you off. Go back. To 12. For we wrestle. Listen, hold on, listen, listen everybody. Listen, right here. Go ahead. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rules of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Okay. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God. Why? That ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth, okay. and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Mm -hmm. Above all, taking the shield of faith. Shield of faith, that's what we're going to talk about. Keep going, that's another piece of armor. Go ahead. Wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Uh -huh. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Okay. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. And watching there unto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. One more, 19. And for me that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. When, when we come to know Jesus, or when we say, yeah, Lord, I trust you. Because we can't see him, there has to be a level of faith that he's there. Because you just can't touch Jesus. That's right. So why do I believe that Jesus is real? So there has to be a level of faith knowing because I can't touch him. Or I can touch his microphone. That microphone is real. Mm -hmm. But there, have to be, there has to be, there must be, it's imperative that we all develop a level of faith to know, even though we can't touch him, that he's right there. Mm -hmm. uh, let me flip that a minute. Because... There, there is an adversary here in the earth realm, the prince of the air, mm -hmm. who fights us day in and day out. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. and, mm, especially if you are a believer. Amen. Especially if you said, yeah, God, I trust you. Come on now. Yes, right. and, and his name is the devil or Satan, however you want to classify him. Yes, you may not think he's real, but he's just as real as you and I. Yes, Yes, and watch this. I ain't the bunch of bubble, but he's also a spirit too. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, Tyler, how do you fight something that's different than you? We're human. We're in the flesh. So, how do I fight that? Do I go get my, my gun? Do I put up my dukes? I mean, how do I fight that? You can't. The only way we can fight the enemy and his tricks is through the word of God. Amen. Amen. And God has given us, and in many occasions, in scriptures, and especially in this particular text and chapter, how to fight the enemy. Amen. Amen. How to fight it. Or, or what pieces of armor that we can armor up and be like, okay, let's go into battle. Amen. Have you ever, oh, oh Lord Jesus. Have you ever uh, got rid of using this illustration, y'all, because I, I, I won't always wear I am. But have you ever, you know, got ready 
you fight somebody and you knew, okay, we fight, I'm gonna win this fight. Uh -huh. You know, you know, so as a person know, I already know, okay, let's go then. Mm -hmm. Watch this. I'm, twi I'm, I'm switching this now to a spiritual application because that's how we should know when we go through things now in the earth. Mm -hmm. That whatever I go through, I'm still gonna win. That's right. Amen. 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 And, and watch this. And I'm not gonna win by my own strength. Right. I'm not going to win by my own power. Amen. Because at this point, because you can be exhausted of all your strength and all your power, then how are you going to win that fight? Right. Amen, somebody. Amen. So we got to be able to tap into God and, and into uh, uh, the things of God, into a relationship with Him mm -hmm. to be able to accomplish or adhere or to uh, get the strength that we need to get through every test yes, and right. every trial. Yes, Is that not right? Y'all starting there for a moment. Right. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, what ch uh, Ephesians chapter 6 does for us is it tells us through the show of faith, uh, 1 John 5 and 4. Where's my reader at? Y'all left my reader. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that practice. I just knew we were going to have them again. <laughs> okay, um, uh, 1 John 5 and 4. Who, who has that? Okay, um, Mia, thank you. First John 5 and 4. Read that for me. For whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world, world, and this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Even our faith. So it's something about this faith thing. Give me your name again. Justin. Justin, that's right, man. Thank you. It's so, there's something about this faith thing, Ethan, that God really wants us to get. And we know what faith is. The scripture says that um, faith is a substance of things hoped for. I'm hoping for this. But the evidence of things not seen. But I don't see it happening. I'm hoping for this thing to happen, but I don't see it happening. Okay, does that mean because I don't see it, it's not going to happen? Uh-oh. It's according to your faith. Don't you know you can believe some things in your life and they happen? You can believe, now, faith without works is dead. You don't have to apply yourself. Let me go back now. Sometimes God will generously give us stuff that we didn't ask for or whatever, but uh, you can, we may have to do something to accomplish what we want done. But, well, let me give you an example. I just can't say, well, I want a new job, but I, don't, I haven't filled out my one application. In fact, I haven't even left the house, but I want another job. Amen. No, I need to do my work. Amen. Go here and start going out, putting in some applications. Amen. 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 So God can do the rest on his end. Amen. Um, yeah, yeah. And and look, and I uh, that the sh back in the Roman days, the the shield weighed ten kilograms, mm -hmm. and that equal that totaled up to twenty two pounds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can you imagine it was covered, it was metal, it was covered in, um, it had some wooden pieces on it, and it's some leather pieces, but 22 pounds. Mm -hmm. But can you imagine, watch this y'all, fighting, mm -hmm. using something as a shield to protect you that weighed 22 pounds. Mm -hmm. Now you got to maneuver with this, because watch this, the scripture says uh, that we may uh, which are the fiery darts of the enemy. Darts of the enemy. Yes. And that's what the shield was for in the Roman days. Mm -hmm. Was to protect the Roman from the arrows or being stabbed. Mm -hmm. That's what the shield was for. Mm -hmm. And so, let me fast forward a little bit. Even with our faith, we can get poked, we can get stabbed, but because of our faith, we can get back up. Amen. 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 Come on now. Amen. Because I still believe my faith, but see, that's what the enemy is after. I really believe that that's what he's after when it comes to the believer or the Christian. Mm -hmm. He wants the Christian to lose faith. Because right. if you lose faith, there's no more hope. When you want hope Amen. I mean, yourself, you, we've been down that road. That's not an option. Right. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. And, I, and I, I wrote a couple of notes here. Uh, the unbeliever does not have faith. What, but in only what they see. Amen. We all been there, Ethan. Oh, I got faith in that because I can see it. I have faith in that because I have my hand in it and I can maneuver it the way I want to maneuver it. Yes. 
But God is totally, walking with the Lord is totally different. Yes, sir. We, are, we have to be, we must be submissive to him so he can guide us and lead us. Yes, right. Come on now. That's right. Amen. Yeah, because he's not going to lead us wrong. Mm -hmm. When he lead us in some tests and times, sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Jesus was led in the wilderness mm -hmm. only to be tempted of the devil. Yes, so we're going to be led in some tough times that we're going to be like, Lord, you still with me? What in the world going on? That's right. You're right. It's going to almost feel like the devil is leading. <laughs> and if you ain't careful, Lord Jesus, Amen. if you ain't careful, you'll start blaming it on the devil. Right. Am I right? Y'all talk to me. Right. 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 That's why you got to really have a relationship with God so you can at least look, Lord, okay, I'm still going to hang with you. Amen. I don't know what you're doing. It hurts, mm -hmm. but I'm still going with you. Right. And many have quit because right. they couldn't withstand the test Amen. and what God, what God is taking them to Amen. Come on now, somebody. Amen. So even in scriptures, I begin to look. I said, wow. And I, I want to know some more about this shield that he was talking about. So I had to do my, look, my research, Brother David. Because, mm -hmm. okay, anytime I like study something, when was it first mentioned in the Bible? So I want to know, Brother Hedgepeth, Mother Cannon, when was this shield mentioned in the Bible. When was it first mentioned? Is this the first time he taught us about this shield? When? And he took me to Genesis. Amen. <laughs> Genesis. Genesis chapter 15. Who has that? I'm like, and this is the first book of the Bible. I know, Lord, I've read this Bible all these years, and I never saw this. I never. But that's what happened when, you, when you're studying and kind of like seeking. Um, Genesis chapter 15, verse 1. Who has? Somebody has. Okay, come on, Justin. Read that for me, sir. After these things, the word of the Lord came unto Abraham in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abraham, I am thy shield. Thy I, oh, oh, oh. I am thy what? Shield. This is Jesus talking mm -hmm. to Abraham. Tell him, look, I am your shield. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In other words, I, oh, Lord, the more I begin to look at this, Justin, hold on. Hold on. The more I begin to look at that, I'm like, oh, wow, God is our faith. Amen. Our faith is him. Oh, okay, keep going. Just. In thy exceeding great reward. And Abram said, Lord God, what wilt, wilt thou give me? Seeing I go childless, and the steward of my house is Eliezer of Damascus. Amen. Amen. In other words, this is God speaking to Abram. The, the word of the Lord came to him, the Lord speaking to him, said, I am your shield. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And then somewhere he said, Well, there, I am the way, the truth, and the what? And no man coming to the Father except by me. I don't care what Oprah and all them others are talking about. It's another way to get the, you know, it ain't only one way. <laughs> Some people get sued just for saying that. Preacher. There's only one way. Right. Amen. Any other way, you're going down a dangerous path. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. They don't want you to know that. But unfortunately, people are getting sued and thrown off TV because they're telling you they go one way. Amen. All of this, they call it New Age now. <laughs> y'all, somebody know what y'all I'm like, what is New Age stuff? And that's the term that they're using. New Age. But it's got something to do with these young people and the young generation or whatever. That they come up with all this stuff. Hey, wow. And that's why I like talking to young people because I at least like to be uh, fluent. I don't want to use the word hip to what they talking about. Because if you don't, they, you will be lost. Yes, right. You'll be sitting there looking like, I like break this down so I can understand. Mm -hmm. Amen. Philippians uh, 4, verse 3. So, so, and while, while you're finding that, Philippians 4, verse 3, oh. listen, in G Genesis is the first book of the Bible. Mm -hmm. And he talks about the shield. He tells us about the shield in Genesis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he tells us in a way which he's telling us about himself. Mm -hmm. Y'all catch that? Mm -hmm. It's not about nobody else, but it's about him. I am your shield. Wow. Come on now. Yeah. Right. Um, Philippians 4 and 3. You got to come on, man. We got a new reader. Thank you. I mm. can do all things through Christ who 
Strengthening. That's Philippians 4.13. Find Philippians 4 and 3. Oh, thank you. That's a good scripture, though. Yes, sir. We can add that to the list. Uh, and I and treat be, be also true, no fellow, help those women which labor with, with me, with me and the gospel with celebrants and also with others. My fellow laborers whose names are in Are in the book of life. Reju or who, whose names are in the book of life. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Let your moderation, moderation be known unto all, unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. Supplication with thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Let your requests be made. Through Christ, Christ Jesus. Jesus. Stop right there. <laughs> All right. You read a little more, but he, he got good. I told him, let's just read the whole thing. But here, the Lord's actually telling us, look, everything you have, all your entire being, you can put in me. How much of your, oh, Lord, this might be, don't y'all raise y'all hand in here. How much of yourself have you dedicated to God? What percentage of you have you said, you know what, Lord, here I am. I lose everything for you. 50%, 10%, 100%, 95%. What percentage? Can I tell you that we serve a God that wants all of us? Uh-oh. He, he just don't want half of us, Justin. He wants all of us. I'm reminded where I think it's over on this Psalms where it says the steps of a good man they're ordered by the Lord. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. So we should want our steps ordered by God, yeah. Tyler, mm -hmm. instead of them being ordered by the enemy, yeah. or we order them ourselves. Because mm -hmm. I don't know about y'all, but I, I made a cluster of mistakes. I don't want to order my own steps. I know how that is. <laughs> yeah, but knowing that he ain't going to lead me wrong, right. that should be what we want, right? Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh huh. Uh huh. And but but coming with that now, mm -hmm. we got to know that 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 he's looking for change. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Lord is looking for change. Yes, right. We are not being the same place next year that we are this year. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Somebody. Amen. If we are, we ought to check. See. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Let me back up. I don't know. Oftentimes for me now, I don't know about nobody else. I have to take and often. I have to do self-inventory. Right. 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 You know, because I don't want to be in the same place. Because right. the enemy walks about, walks around, seeing who we seek and who we may divide. Right. He ain't just standing in one place. Amen. I think the Christians get complacent Amen. and just stand in one place, ain't growing spiritual, and Amen. the enemy is just Amen. knocking Amen. inside of you. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 Come on now. Yes, sir. If anything, move to another place. Yes, All right. Right. In God. Amen. So when the enemy come there now, he can't even find it. Amen. Oh Lord Jesus. Because if he if Satan know where to find you, he 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 don't have no word. He just go right there. You right there. Amen. Or let me let me bring it to all of us, Justin. Amen. If he knows what buttons to push that's gonna get yeah. us out of character, right. why he gonna do anything else? Right. Right. He's not. He's gonna continue right. doing the same thing. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Every time you push that soft spot out, mm -hmm. you gotta let him push that soft spot and don't give a response. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Man. Yeah. Right. Now he gotta go back and figure out something else, y'all. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay, we talked about what is faith. We talked about listen, um, Hebrews 11 29, I can read this. He says, By faith the people cross the Red Sea as on dry ground. Listen, uh -huh. by faith. Uh, this is Hebrews 11 and 5. He says, By faith the, uh, the walls of Jericho fell down after they been uh, encircled for seven days. Right. Mm -hmm. By faith. Mm -hmm. So by faith, we can accomplish 
what we need to accomplish in God. I can't stress that enough. Right. By faith, though. It ain't about, it's not by power, not by might, but by his spirit. So, if I'm operating in faith, I definitely have to be operating in his spirit. Amen. Amen. You can be a false teacher all you want to, but it's going to, the real people, our personal God can see right through that. Amen. Now, this person, mm -mm, no, mm -mm. something like, or, 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 or God will put something in that person's spirit where they can feel something Amen. right. Right. You showing me something that ain't right right here. Uh -huh. Amen. That's why we have to become who God wants us to become. Amen. And not mimic, uh oh, don't y'all miss this. And not mimic something that we're not. All right. All right. All right. That's right. Come on now. Amen. Now y'all got me talking all the time. Amen. Some of y'all talk to me. I don't, we don't. I'm sorry, Apostle. No, yeah. I'm just going. Y'all yeah, talk to me. Enjoy yourself. Y'all yeah. trick me. Y'all trick me that time. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Y'all talk to me now. Somebody talk to me. Come on, Mother Hedge. Talk to me. Now I'm learning. Okay, you learning. Everybody learning. I'm learning too. Y'all trick me though. Y'all say go on now, but talk to me, boss. Let's go back up the verse. Uh, that that first verse she read. Okay. Yeah, I, think, I think we missed a uh, all important. Okay. Not we. Me, me, me a read in yeah. Philippians? Yeah. Okay, me, me go back to Philippians three. 4. Was it 4 and 3? 4 and 3. Yeah. Point it out, my boss. And I entreat ye also, true fellows, help those women which labor with me uh -huh. in the gospel oh. with. Oh, 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 right there. Oh, right there. Oh, right there. Oh, right there for me. Now, that's the point that a lot of us as gentlemen mm. will miss. Me? Yes. Okay. We'll miss it. It mm -hmm. said, in truth, he ain't treated us. Right. In other words, treat the women just like you treat the other men. Wow. Mm -hmm. As a matter yeah. of fact, you can treat them better because they work harder than most men do in the gospel. Now, am I right or wrong? Right. Yeah. That's They'll a good, show up. That's a good point. When the men won't show up. Come on. Right. And now that takes faith and people really being on to do when they know other people won't be there for with them. I'm not going to say for them. Yes. God is for you. Uh -huh. Yes. But he explicitly said the women and treat the women. Where would church be now without women? Mm -hmm. Um, uh -oh. um, I don't even want to answer that. It's so scary. <laughs> hey Amen. Somebody said, my thing, mother said clothes. She said, got a point. Anybody want to? That's good, Apostle. And I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm just reminded when Jesus was crucified, mm -hmm. who was the two ladies that went to the two? Was it Mary? Mary. Yeah, they, they, they was, where was the men? They weren't even there. <laughs> so that right there speaks volumes for the women. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And somewhere in the brother David, he said, if we don't treat our wives right, right our prayers would be unheard. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ain't that something? Uh -huh. Wow, that's a lot, God, that you put on us. But Amen. that woman is important. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. And we have to learn how to receive from her. Amen. That was my, that was, can I confess, that was part of my struggle. Right. Well, I can't you say that again, baby. Don't 